Well, thanks for joining us at 6 tonight. We're taking a look at a crime fighting tool used in several communities in southeast Wisconsin, including Matt, Milwaukee, Racine and Grafton. They're called flock license plate recognition cameras, and they may have captured and stopped or stored a picture of your license plate without you ever knowing about it. The camera sparked our interest after a Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy was dragged while trying to conduct a traffic stop near Bradford Beach a few weeks ago. That traffic stop was initiated because a flock camera alerted deputies to a stolen car in the North Point parking lot. As part of Project Drive Safer, our year-long effort to combat and raise awareness about reckless driving, TMJ4's Ryan Jenkins tells us what he found out about these cameras. Milwaukee police say this is one of 25 flock license plate recognition cameras in the city of Milwaukee, and they're scanning every license plate looking for things like stolen vehicles or vehicles maybe wanted and Amber Alerts, for example. But I wanted to learn more about what makes these cameras different from other types of enforcement cameras like red light cameras, for example. Flock cameras are very different from red light cameras. Holly Balin is a spokesperson for flock safety. Flock safety cameras don't measure speed. They're not for traffic or parking violations. They're certainly not for tolls. They are for crime fighting purposes. Holly says once the cameras capture your plate, the photo is automatically compared to plates in local and national crime databases. If your vehicle is wanted, law enforcement is notified of your whereabouts. What would you respond when somebody says, this feels a little big brother, this feels a little creepy that these cameras are scanning our license plates and most drivers don't even know that they exist? Yeah, so flock safety was founded with the belief that we could balance the two important qualifications of improving public safety while also protecting personal liberties like personal privacy. We believe that this is very possible and we've implemented different features to ensure that this is happening. I asked people at the North Point parking lot how they felt about this tool and found mixed reaction. I didn't even know it was there to begin with, but I'm glad it's there. I think I feel more uncomfortable because I wasn't aware of it. Holly points out that the data collected is objective. It's not facial recognition. There's nothing with people itself. You can't search the system by you know, the gender or the race or anything like that of people, it's just vehicles and plates of cars, which as we know, license plates are actually owned by the state. Holly also said the cameras help to solve thousands of crimes nationwide each week. What we know about stolen vehicles and vehicles that are involved in committing crime, which about 70% of crimes are actually committed with the aid of a vehicle, is that very oftentimes it's not just that single crime. It's folks stealing a vehicle to commit another crime. Holly says these cameras also help police take things like illegal drugs and guns off of the streets and help cut down or even prevent police chases. With the flock safety cameras, police understand that they may not have to pursue that stolen vehicle because they'll be alerted when it passes a camera and they'll be able to safely apprehend that vehicle and that suspect. For some drivers like Monica Williams, cameras and enforcement are no big deal. Instead, she says we should all focus on each other. I want to see more action in the people, in the, the, the citizens that actually walk the ground every day. Reporting for Project Drive Safer, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.